What's up everyone, Dedon here, and today we're jumping back into Clash Royale. I'm just letting you guys know my uploads will be more sporadic, because I am going back to school right now, so I don't know when or how my uploads are going to be, but for you guys that are subbed to my channel, just uh, keep up on the notification and you guys know when I'll release a video to my subs thank you for still supporting me and stuff but like I said other life stuff is going on and focusing on school and work and uh, but yeah that's pretty much it so thank you guys again um, let's jump back into the video all right, you guys. So, I went twelve and two with in this challenge using a mega bait. However, the deck that I'm going to show you guys, um, I did craft this one myself. I think it was within the first week, or really first two days, I think, that uh, I made the deck. I know that the other bait decks going around whenever with the bats instead of rocket however originally this deck that I was using I used Inferno Tower instead of Eye Dragon and I changed Goblin Gang for something else but that wasn't working too well but I switched to using Eye Dragon instead and using Goblin Gang and it's working pretty well like I said I just went 12 and 2 with this challenge I've been doing pretty well going about 9 10 around there more more often than not so this one here we're going against a golem night witch deck and the problem with this deck here is that say if they open with elixir pump and you don't have rocket in your hand you're gonna be at a disadvantage by the end of that pump cycle. So think you'll be down to elixir so my best option right here was just to drop the mega knight at the bridge and get some damage off and see what he responds with. So all he did was drop the Mega Minion down. And we did get a good amount of damage on that tower. However, he has a full pump down. And then now he's able to use the Golem in the back. And we can't punish him with the Mega Knight. The thing with the Mega Knight is, is that whenever they drop their tank in the back, you always want to play the Mega Knight in the opposite lane and see what they do. Force them to waste more elixir. So this is this is the problem right here. Is that the eye dragon is down. He had a night witch to support, and he had lightning in the back. So we're about to take a lot of damage, and in resulting to losing that tower. So that happened all because just the RNG at the beginning of this of the match with the starting hand. See, this time we're able to punish accordingly. But that's one of the things, though, is that when they play pump at the beginning and you can't punish them with rocket, more often than not, they're going to play it behind their crown tower and you'll get damage in on the second round. So this time right here, we're set up to counter his push. So right here is exactly the right scenario is if they drop the golem in the back like that, or Pekka, or whatever it may be. You drop the Mega Knight in the opposite lane. So he wasted his Night Witch. So he can't back his Golem up right there. So he drops Baby Dragon. I want to... Try and take down these support troops back here. So I had enough to drop the Mega Knight down. Our tower is not looking too good right here. And he dropped another golem. We'll let our king tower soak up that damage from the night witch and the bats. Drop the princess down for support. Let the goblin gang start going off on there. So that was a good mega minion right there to counter the eye dragon. Drop the mega knight down. Take down the golemites. Which is pretty crazy. A Golemite that has about 90% health, you drop the Mega Knight down and actually take it out. It's pretty crazy. 
Could be a little bit less though. So right here I go in knowing that he doesn't have log. Drop Mega Knight, drop Goblin Gang and the barrel. Just overwhelm him and take down that tower. But just because that opening starting hand put us in that deficit for most of the match. So just be keep that in mind. So next match, we're going against a graveyard deck. Um, you don't see graveyard too often anymore. I don't know about you guys, but I think this is the first match out of like 20 or 30 matches that I've went against a graveyard. So after that nerf, it, it took a pretty big hit. So right here, we just cycled the Goblin Gang. We didn't really have anything else to play. I really don't like playing Eye Dragon in the back like that. But I didn't have much else to play. I didn't want to burn my Mega Knight in case they invest a lot of Elixir in the back. But as you guys can see, he dropped three troops at the bridge. And the Mega Knight was able to clean all that up fairly easily. So he punished on the counter push with the Goblin Barrel. And we have the Eye Dragon as well. And since he just zapped, we know that he has zap, and we can safely assume he doesn't have log. But just because of that counter push right there, we we're able to take down that first tower. So we reset, just play the princess in the back, invest some elix some elixir, and see what he does. So I drop knight. Expecting him to place a troop in the bridge. So what I do right here is I just drop the Mega Knight in the center Just so I can start taking out all these troops protects the princess at the same time It's a good defense right there. So they this is the part where I was afraid of Was that he had a split push right here and graveyard on either side would have been a good play on his part However, he opted not to Which was a bad play on his part because by that point, if you keep tracking of the cards, he would have known that he would have had a good chance of um, getting good damage with the graveyard. So now we're just trying to keep putting the pressure on him right here. Prince is in the back as we hit 10 Elixir. Since he drops a knight right there in the at the bridge like that, I can safely assume that he's going to play graveyard, which he did. So as soon as I see knight, simply because he's being very aggressive that I'm able to drop Mega Knight safely and block all these troops right here. Went a little greedy with the Goblin Barrel, but we did get some good damage off. So I know he's a graveyard deck. I have to save the Mega Knight to take out all those troops at the bridge, then use Princess or use Goblin Gang to take out the skeletons from the graveyard. And that play right there, I dropped the Knight on top of the other knight is so that the tower didn't target the knight in case he wanted to drop the graveyard. So just some little tips there to using the the space to your advantage. So this one right here is the 12th match right here and we're going against a Pekka Mega Knight deck. And which is running pump. So I dropped Knight down, and even though we have Rocket to counter Pump correctly this time, I dropped the Knight down, so I'm down 3 Elixir, so I'm not going to support this Knight at all, since I'm down 3 already. So he opts to drop P.E.K.K.A., and normally what I would do is drop Mega Knight right at the bridge, which I do this time, but it's a little risky because I dropped that knight earlier, so I'm down three elixir. So normally I would have about four or five. Instead I have two going three, so that's the downside of that. And he was able to get one swing on my tower because of that. So just keep that in mind. It was just one misplay to where I played the knight down a little too quick. That cost me that much damage. And not able to do the push correctly. So we're going to reset here. I dropped the Goblin Barrel because I didn't want to drop Princess. Just in case he was going to pump, I wanted him to force to 
force him to spend elixir on that goblin barrel so that way he couldn't get the elixir advantage going into this second round right here as you guys can see it did pay off because I dropped the knight to counter the bandit with the bandit counter the goblin barrel so that was three for three and going for three so right here this is the big misplay that he did was playing the peck in the back as I said earlier whenever they drop a big tank in the back like that I immediately drop that mega knight at the bridge and since we were able to bait out his actual elixir this time we we're able to punish him correctly and take down that tower so right here is very important what I did was I dropped the goblin gang and the goblin barrel next to the e wizard so that way it couldn't reset the eye dragon that eye dragon only needed about two seconds left to take down that P.E.K.K.A. and, and doing so dropping all those goblins allowed me to wind it all the way up so he dropped Mega Knight at the bridge and I dropped Mega Knight to counter his I tried to be a little cheeky right there and drop the gob gang to take out that e-wizard however it didn't work so well but that princess is doing work so right here drop the gob barrel right there in the center just to pull the mega knight and it's good game So as you can see, it's a pretty decent deck. I am not the best player, the bait player, but it's pretty fun. So let's open up this 12 win chest. Get some gold, some zap, bats, mega minion, bowler, and bomber. So thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Just one note to you guys, I noticed that a lot of you guys wanted to add me on Clash Royale in my last video. Um, I am gladly will accept your guys' um, friend requests. Just uh, leave your in-game name and the link in order for me to add you in the comment section down below so that way I can add you guys. Um, it's really cool. We can do some 2v2 together. We can do some friendlies together, whatever you guys want to do. So if you guys are interested in that, just add it down in the comment section below. Remember your in-game name and the link for me to add you guys.